What's up everyone, hope you guys are all having a great day today, and hey, I can't say I didn't warn you in my last video, but now I'm back and hopefully for a while this time. I mean, I can't guarantee anything, because again, literally the only thing that's relevant right now is Elden Ring, but now I'm finally feeling that grind set again. But, you know, this entire first third of the year, some things just felt super off. I couldn't exactly tell you what it was until earlier today, I realized, oh shit, I haven't done a Harmon Smith video at all this year. WHAT?! I know, I know, the horror. Now, after that wonderful video we watched last time, what could possibly top that fantastic reaction? Well, nothing really. I don't think Harmon Smith himself could top that reaction if you fucking try it. But you know what? It's been almost five months. Give me a break. So the video we're going to be watching today is Elden Ring is not selling as well as game journos and fanboys want you to believe. That's right. That's right. Harmon Smith is about to go full on tinfoil hat on us and give us this wonderful conspiracy that From Software and Bandai Namco are faking the sales and player numbers for Elden Ring. And this entire video is just Harmon Smith's pure salt from the fact that Elden Ring is probably gonna pretty easily be everyone's game of the year this year since Breath of the Wild 2 got delayed to next year, and the fact that Elden Ring is being called Breath of the Wild but better in every way, which I mean, yeah. That's probably true, but again, the only reason I still like Breath of the Wild more is because of my nostalgic attachment to that game. But that aside, let's see what YouTube has shout out today. Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of I the Dragon, Cruel and Beautiful, Rabbit Hole, King D.L., Lauren Frey, and the upcoming Jaw of the Dragon. Oh shit, I the Dragon is getting a sequel? Are Amara's used massive tits gonna be able to fit into the mouth of the dragon? Honest to god, I actually wanna try reading one of Harmon Smith's books one day and just see if they're actually good or not. Like, I know I shouldn't expect much, but like, imagine if it turns out he's actually like a really good writer, but he just has some really shitty takes along with making really bad plot synopsis of his books. Like... How fucking funny would that be? You know, even if they are bad, they'll still probably be better than the story for Horizon Forbidden West. And boy, is this topic overdue. I've been so busy, I haven't been able to really sit down and talk about the discrepancies when it comes to the Elden Ring sales numbers. Uh, as we speak, uh, Elden Ring has kind of passed the honeymoon phase. People aren't really talking about it as much anymore. Uh, it's kind of yesterday's news and- Yeah, Elden Ring is yesterday's news, yet you're still talking about about it with it living completely rent free in your head, not to mention the entire fucking rabbit hole with Quantum TV. That's still going strong over a month into this drama. Holy shit, I've been gone for a month. What the fuck? Right now, the main thing that people are trying to use to keep talking about it is the sales numbers and the concurrent users on Steam, uh, both of which are kind of ridiculous. Eh, honestly, I think it's more the retards who are desperately trying to come out with the hot take on this game that are really keeping the whole discussion surrounding the game relevant. Like, I'm sure most other people like myself wouldn't be milking Elden Ring for all that it's worth if it weren't for the constant hilarious bitching surrounding the game. That, and nobody's fucking beaten the damn thing yet, because it's like over 100 hours long especially the concurrent uh, users on steam because I, I keep seeing this come up over and over again to like to try and prove that certain games are better than others like no one cares no one fucking cares. I'm sure Candy Crush has more concurrent users than Elden Ring has. I mean, it fucking better. I mean, it's free. Right now, and that doesn't make it a particularly good good or interesting game. I mean, I don't really think anyone is out here trying to claim that Elden Ring is good because it's sold well or has lots of players. The reason people bring up the sales when talking about the game is really for developers out there, to show them that they don't need to make games that are easy or hold your hand for them to sell well. Because literally everyone will tell you this, people are so fucking sick of the standard open world Ubisoft formula, where you take a map and fill it with a bunch of random shit repeating over and over again with nothing interesting about it and say, do this or die to bullshit. And you could say, well, Elden Ring has grinding for leveling up, and yeah, that's true, but the quests Elden Ring has are actually immersive, they're things you would want to do with rewards you'd want to get, and shit, even if you don't want to grind for hours, it's a From Software game with extremely in-depth combat that you can learn and figure out ways to beat a boss without grinding. I don't care how popular a game is, okay? I care how good it is as a game. And You care about how good it is? Then what the fuck happened when you were bringing up sales on the Steam Deck versus the Switch and used the fact that the Switch was going to sell better than the Steam Deck as your main argument? If you cared how good something is, and sales don't really matter, which to be fair, they don't, but why are sales even a talking point in any of your argument? Oh wait, sales only matter when they help my argument. That's right. Really need to eat that same energy. As it stands, um, nothing I've seen from Elden Ring really indicates that it's really a game worth playing or talking about. If it wasn't so 
vastly overhyped by Twitter Twitter users and YouTubers, I probably wouldn't be talking about it at all. This is the most frustrated I've been with a new release since uh, probably Doom Eternal. Bro, how is this shit frustrating you? Are you genuinely that attached to a corporation that another developer taking a game your favorite corporation made and making that game better is somehow frustrating to you? I mean, I think the wall of virginity in this background is kinda answering that question already, but still. Elden Ring has almost nothing to do with Nintendo aside from its obvious inspirations from Breath of the Wild. Again, the only reason this dude is getting so salty about Elden Ring is because it's a great game that's not a Switch exclusive and isn't even on Switch. The damage control here is through the fucking roof. Also, the fact that he said Doom Eternal did the same thing to him as well is just the fucking icing on the cake for me. What, did the one animation someone made on Pornhub of Isabel getting fucked by Doom Guy piss you off or something? God, I wonder what his reaction to the whole bowling fiasco on Twitter with Nintendo that happened a couple weeks ago was like. Honestly, Harmon, make that your next video, please. I need all the content that I can get. Uh, probably... You know, Horizon Zero Dawn comes to mind because I've been playing that a lot. Like, they're... Bro, how the fuck did Horizon Zero Dawn piss you off? I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean, it's a solid game, but aside from maybe the combat and the graphics, the game is mid as fuck compared to Breath of the Wild. Every year, it feels like, there's one game, uh, Sekiro, like- Nah, Sekiro came out in 2019 when Nintendo did not release shit that year. Like, don't get me wrong, Luigi's Mansion 3 was, like, a nice trip down memory lane for me personally, but to say that it was comparable to shit like Smash Ultimate, Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, or Animal Crossing is a complete fucking lie. Every year it feels like there's there's a game that the establishment, uh, the established game media try and push onto the consumer as being like the game of the year, uh, which is clearly just an attempt to astroturf and pretend that Nintendo isn't dominating the uh, the industry. Like it's always shit that nobody actually cares about. Like what does the entire year of 2017 just not exist in this dude's mind? Does he not realize that Breath of the Wild is literally one of the highest rated games of the last decade? And Ocarina of Time is literally the highest rated game of all time? What the actual fuck are you talking about the media is trying to slander Nintendo? Holy shit. Dragon Age Inquisition, The Last of Us, uh, uh, Sekiro, uh, what was, what was the game of the year? And, again, I don't even remember what a lot of these game of the years are, like God of War 2018, like, I don't even remember a lot of the, the game of the years. No shit, because all you care about is Nintendo. In the last decade, because all of them are very forgettable, very, very bland trash, right? All of them are awful, and it seems like uh, what the industry is trying to do is set up Elden Ring to be the next game of the year. I mean, now that Breath of the Wild 2 is delayed, does anything really stand a fucking chance against it? And um, right now, they're trying to push this narrative that Elden Ring is one of the best-selling games of the past 12 months. Now, that's obviously not true because it hasn't outsold Call of Duty. Yeah, they said one of the best selling games, not the best selling game. Holy shit, do you fucking read? And I'd also, uh, I'd also suggest it's obviously not going to outsell Pokemon, but- I'd check again on that one, bud. Like, I have also need to, to address the fact that, like, I don't believe the stated numbers from Namco Bandai are real. Like, the tw Okay, I'm sorry, this is like a really small nitpick, but why the fuck did he say Namco like that? Like, you, I don't know. 12 million in, in a month figure, I, I have a really, really hard time that that many people have bought Elden Ring. Like, it didn't feel like that big of a release. And you clearly must be living under a rock or something, because this and LEGO Star Wars are like the only two games people at my school have been talking about lately. It didn't feel that relevant, it didn't feel that... It didn't feel like a phenomenal major release, like on par with uh, with Skyrim or a new Grand Theft Auto or something like this. This was just a new Dark Souls game, a new entry in like a relatively niche franchise. Again, Harmon bringing up the popularity of something as one of your arguments. Fuck, these videos literally write themselves at this point. That has only garnered interest due to being a somewhat different playing IP in like a sea of identical open world action games, essentially. Um, like I suspected this game might sell a, a little bit, 
uh, a little bit better than Dark Souls typically does because of the open world gimmick and like the push for the casuals and like having George R. R. Martin involved. But like, the this has nothing to do with Elden Ring, but I remember hearing this dude say that he's a better writer than George R. R. Martin with his vampire mommy Wattpad stories and shit. What can I say? There's a fucking reason I've done seven videos on this dude at this point. The numbers they're giving uh, don't make any sense. Right, they they they, uh, they don't make any sense to me. Like I'm hearing people like say it outsold Breath of the Wild, which is impossible. Bro, the game's been out for a month. Who the fuck is saying that it's outsold Breath of the Wild's like 30 million units? And another thing that's ironic to me is that before Breath of the Wild, Zelda was also a pretty niche franchise. Like I think the highest selling Zelda game was like 13 million units, which is good, but it's not really mainstream. So by your logic, Breath of the Wild's success is a lie. I'm seeing people like say it's. Uh going to be one of the best-selling titles of the year which again is impossible like it, it, it. bro it's already sold like 12 million units in a month right now it's topping the charts and really there isn't much else coming out this year unless somehow rockstar is able to pull through and drop gta 6 on us which i mean Harmon smith has a better chance of losing his virginity than that actually happening it feels as if uh, the elden ring fanboys are trying to find any possible thing they can use to weaponize, like to try and pretend this game is a bigger deal than it is. I mean, based on the fact that I dropped a video on Elden Ring almost a month after it released and still managed to get over 10k views really tells you how big of a deal it is. What, are you gonna say that From Software is paying for my views or something? Well, I mean, if they are, FromSoft, sponsor me or something, because I need fucking money. I'm trying to get a Jeep this summer, please. Like, people haven't taken, like, user, uh, Metacritic score reviews seriously since The Last of Us Part 2 debacle. I really fucking hope it didn't take the last was two to show people that number scores don't matter or else i've just completely lost faith in humanity so now they're going to now they're trying to transition to sales numbers trying to push this narrative that that elden ring is like the most popular thing ever and that that simply isn't true uh in my um from what I've observed. What exactly have you observed aside from perfecting the art of woman repellent? Like, it feels very much just like a core dedicated group of people who are desperate for something to play on Xbox, PlayStation, and PC, pretending that this game is, is a much bigger deal than it actually is. If the only good games in the entire gaming industry were found as Switch exclusives, I don't really think PC players would have anything to worry about because of the emulators on here. Shit, I'm probably playing with one of them for the background footage of this video. I, uh, I don't see this doing better than games like Breath of the Wild or Animal Crossing or Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and nowhere near that. Not I mean, I would hope not, because if a game from a fairly niche franchise, according to you, was doing better than some of the biggest mainstream games like fucking Mario Kart, Breath of the Wild, or Animal Crossing, that have been bundled in with consoles, gone on sale, or in some cases just straight up given away with the console, I think there would be a pretty fucking big problem with the direction Nintendo is headed. Not even like 10 million less sold than that. Like, a 15 million unit sold is, is probably pushing it. Like, um... Bandai seems to like... put these like... over 10 million figures... Guys, give him a minute. It takes a lot to use that massive brain. He needs some time to think. I'm not sure how they're faking the numbers. Um, my imagine it's like shipped, not sold. I mean, they said players in the tweet, and you can only play the game by buying it, so I don't know. They're, or something like that. They're, they're, they're doing something to pretend this game is selling more than it is. Like, they might be like giving away copies to YouTubers or- Like they do with literally every game that's come out in like the last decade? Uh, bundling it with other things. Like, uh, there's all sorts of things we can do. Like, there, there's a precedent for this. Like, I, I'm about to make a video about Horizon Zero Dawn uh, and how they padded out those sales. I don't know exactly how they did it, but it's safe to say that Elden Ring is nowhere near as popular as the fanboys are claiming. That's right everyone, no clue how they faked the sales for Elden Ring, but they did it anyway. This is literal fucking flat earther logic right here. Look around you, don't you see? The sales are faked! Anyways, it's been fun, but I have to go into hibernation again for a month and go back to Elden Ring. So, thank you all for watching, if you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe, join my discord, follow my twitter, suck my dick, and I hope you all have a great day.